Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and this is our Let's Play of Sim Airport, the next episode. Um, last time we've expanded the ticketing area, and things are still going very well. But now we need to focus on, firstly, getting our road upgraded. So the research is underway here. Actually, the research is finished. So the next thing I'm going to do is the multi-line access immediately spend the money to get that going. After that, once I, once I build up another, I think, 30,000, we'll immediately pop in the ATC. Okay, so what does the ATC do for us? Uh, outdoors only must be placed, allow scheduling of more than 10 flights per day. Okay, so that's just the, the natural next, next step. Since we have, since we have 10, <clears throat> 10 flights coming in a day, and we believe we can at least accommodate another one or two extra using just these plane stands, we'll do that first. Schedule a few extra flights to up the cash flow. Then we'll look at the expansion plan. As I mentioned in the last episode, the, I believe the expansion plan here will be to extend this terminal building. All right, double it up in size. Maybe even larger than that. Have a look. Yeah, double it up in size. And what I'll do is I will, I will then add some cafes in the middle of that. Um, add some more gates all the way alongside. Uh, probably add another runway over here so that it is it's not the kind of distance to drive all the way around but it's it's not the end of the world i might be able to do that do that as well i'm not sure how many how many planes you can get on a runway and there are some more upgrades you can do that those are um the runway papi lights oh no no papi indicators um <clears throat> they are lights effectively indicated to pilots to the of their approach resulting in increased safety I'm not sure what that will benefit us. I, we haven't actually seen safety incidents. I don't know if it's part of the game, but we'll, we'll add that nonetheless at some point. And then the I, ILS uh, instrument landing system allows larger airlines to conduct a precision instrument approach. This means fewer weather delays and lower risk of weather-related incidents. It will also help you attract the big boy airlines. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that uh, for the sake of keeping airline interest up and so on, we'll, we'll definitely do that at some point. Okay, so once we get, the next the next big step is to get us up to 30,000. So let me uh, fast forward that a little bit more um, so we can get up to 30,000, get the ATC, schedule some more flights. That's the first step here. I'm, st I'm still loving how this is working. This is really a nice operation. It is very smooth. Okay, keep going, keep going. Where are my flights? Yes, I also want to kind of sort out the taxiway, get it, get it looking a little bit better. At the moment, it's barely functional, and if you have multiple flights coming in, I might actually do a runway over here. So we'll see about how far we extend that. So runway there, runway there. Uh, that should be able to feed some more plane stands on this side, and that'll be that'll be it. I don't think we'll get more than say three, four. Two, three, four, maybe eight, maybe ten plane stands in total. Maybe some small plane stands here. Maybe we'll upgrade these to larger plane stands and so on and so on. But I don't think we'll get much more than eight to ten plane stands in, in here in general. See how our research is going on. 27%. Um, what we'll also do, pricing. Oh, we'll probably do that so we can focus on getting our prices up. Bank loans, I don't think we need it. Oh, uh, it might actually help us a little bit. We've got a decent income so that we can make use of loans to, to, to make the whole thing a little bit quicker. Um, but I, <clears throat> I, might, I might not do that straight away. I, I'll, I'll get the ATC up first, and then maybe we'll see if we need, need to do that. We should have enough money for the ATC very quickly. Well, very quickly. Maybe two or three, three more flights. I want to really expand this, but it's not. It, it's, it doesn't look like it's been causing a problem. It doesn't look like it's been causing a problem, and even the small hangar with just the one baggage car does not seem like it's been causing. Look like it's been causing a problem. Yeah, everybody's on there. It is. It is really working quite well at the moment, but it is a small operation. I want to get this operation much, much bigger.
and these queues. We, uh, the area needs to be expanded just in general. We've got a lot of interest here. Sea Galactic Point wants to put eight flights in here. So there's a lot of interest in flights. Airport interest level. These guys are really liking me at the moment. They want to really up, it, up its game. So I'm guessing that means they'll pay more. 1,100. I also need to have, get access to the bigger, bigger airline. So I'm, I'm wondering whether the next one wouldn't be, wouldn't be a bit of a bigger plane stand. But maybe this area, if I get multiple big ones, like like I do here, or at the same kind of rate that I'm doing at the current plane stands, that might not work that well. So I'll, I'll maybe stick to the smaller ones over here. Maybe just get two big ones at the end. So I'll have to maybe see how I manage that and see how big the big ones are. Maybe it's just an extra one here and then two big ones at the end and then three more on this side. I think that <clears throat> that might cover us. That might cover us. Okay, we've got enough money for the ATC. So that's the next thing we're going to do. Okay, that's come in. Okay, where am I going to place it? I'm kind of thinking in this area right here not to be in the way of too much, but I might do it. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see what's the kind of size that we're talking about. Not that bad, to be honest. Not that bad. I might actually even pop it, pop it like here somewhere. Over there. Mm -hmm. Maybe all the way over here. Uh, thinking about it, that might have worked to put it a little bit more that side. Anyway, I think I think this spot over here is probably about fine. I'm going to put the ATC like that, just like that. That should be okay. There we go. ATC is starting construction. Whoa, a lot of people, and it is due to garbage truck yet again. It's been it's been collecting all day the garbage truck kind of arrives i've checked arrives at around 12 noon you can see it's collected a lot of garbage and caused a lot of problems look at that this is why we need to get that second line in here in reality this is a this is kind of a, a silly thing this plane is leaving with one person one person out of 177 it's an absolute nightmare just because the garbage truck was parked in the lane and no one could get into the airport. In reality, such problems do exist, but uh, not, not as specific as this. I just cannot... What is that? No, that's fine. Um, such problems just cannot exist. I wonder whether that's resulted in some cancellations of flights. It has not. It has not resulted. Oh, it doesn't look like it gate on the route all of it's happening but we're going to struggle look at this we're going to struggle to get get even this anybody on this plane no one is here to board this is an absolute disaster I cannot believe it that's why it is so important that second line oh as i was saying in the reality things like that happen operational things like that certainly happen cause problems for the airport and so on but it seems a little bit too specific in this instance someone would just tell the <laughs> tell the garbage truck to move out of the way so that it can keep going in, a sense, in that sense. No way that would happen at a real airport, but, but, but it's, it's, it's almost um, a metaphor for the kind of things that do happen, the operational things that do happen at the airport. So that's the way I see it here. But yes, it's an absolute nightmare. It's absolute, people are arriving, the planes are already gone. This is exactly, exactly the kind of mess the kind of mess that we want to try and avoid. That we want to try and avoid and that we're working towards solving right now. Okay, so how is that research going? It is almost done and it cannot come any sooner. But I messed up. I should have let that garbage truck make a move quicker. Now everything is late and delayed. Okay, now at least we've got a gap. A gap in in people arriving well just a few people arriving for the next flight but they should be able to get in here now I could increase the size of the drop-off area which I probably will do as I expand this um, but I don't think it's necessary right at the moment what I need to do I don't want people to be walking miles anyway but it, it, it can 
can help us a little bit alleviate some of the concerns. But we shouldn't be, it shouldn't be necessary after this is, this is finished. So after this is finished. Okay, so what we've got, let's have a look at our schedule. The ATC is up and running. So now we should be able to accommodate many, many more flights. So let's have a quick look at our schedule. So we've got something arriving 4 a.m., 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., <clears throat> noon, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. So first things first, I'm going to look for something that I can into the evening uh, and more specifically in that 8 p.m. slot. So anything in the evening, nothing from them, Union Air, has a night flight, but it's way too small. I'm not going to bother with them at the moment. Star flight has a 707 night flight. So the 707 is about 180 passengers. I think that's that's a good one. I'll, I'll probably pop in that one. Let's quickly go through the rest. Pacific Airlines, small planes, uh, WestJet has a 707 as a night, night flight. They're paying 2,300. Um, Star Flight is paying 3,100, so they're definitely my preferred. Galactic Point wants to put in a lot of flights in here. 747, I don't think we can accept a 747. No, I was right. 787, A380, wow. How many people does the A380 take on, in this game at least? 525? 525? 747 and the A380 is the same size? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, 525. But when we get these big boys, we really need a lot of a, a lot of uh, a lot of room. Wow, and they are actually. Hang on, let's have a look. Not at Ford Air. Which were they? Misjet. Galactic Point. Yes, Galactic Point. I can't accept any of their flights. They're only big boys. Big boy airplanes. So this is a this is a real big boy airline <laughs> as it's referred to in this um, in this game at least and then aero time they've got a 707 as a night flight uh, but they're paying a little bit less so what i'm going to do is i'm going to accept the as a first thing i'm going to accept the aero is it aerostar or was it star flight it's a star flight i'm going to say accept the star flight night flight accepted that get the schedule open and make sure i move one of them Oh, uh, actually, the smaller one, the smaller one of the two, I want to move in there. Okay, what we can try now, and I'll probably just do one of them. I will see about where we've got um, the smaller. What's happening over here? Is eight to nine? What's, oh, eight to nine is going on. So what's this size? This is a seven three seven. This is seven oh seven. So I'm going to try and see if I can fit another flight in between there. Uh, actually, that probably won't work well um, uh, let's see let's see if we can fit another one in there if everything goes smoothly at check-in what is going on here same problem and I'm running into it yet again what is happening with this research it's completed so how do I can I oh okay, I guess I don't want to do that. can I upgrade this road can I build road Oh, there it is. I see. Is there anything else we can do? Okay. What I'm going to do then is obviously make, make room for this here. So I'll clear the drop-off zone. Okay, like that. And expand it to the other side. Not that I think it's really required. And I'll do something like that. Hmm. I will, well, I'll do the same thing all the way through there. Uh, get deliveries like that. And pickups like so. Um, the next thing that's a bit of a problem, and I'm wondering whether I can destroy these guys. Destroy, destroy, and destroy. I'm hoping that'll work. And I'm going to clear this zone here. Here we go. I will add a bit more garbage on this side just so that we have enough stacking room. And then I need to build road. But now money is going to be tight yet again. I'm wondering 
can I, can I just like make a lay-by? That that'll that'll already help us out. That'll already help us out. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, let's see, let's see. Let's start. I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. So ideally speaking, what we would do is we would. Oh, we can. Oh, we. Oh, this is the edge, so we can build roads in this way. Can we do that? No, we can't. Okay, so if we do that, right? Oh, it is a lay-by. It, it, it does turn into a lay-by. So let's, let's try this. Let's see. Maybe that works initially to get this garbage truck out of the way. I'll even add an extra one. Well, maybe once that. Come on, guys. Break down the dumpster. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I wonder if they can. I should be able to. Excellent. So they've done that. What I'll do is I will, because I've already got the dumpsters bought up, what I'll do is I will, well, I'll probably move them again later anyway. There she, one, one, two, three, four. Anyway, let's do that. Keep it going. Okay, now you guys should immediately come and build this. We're going to have empty planes again. Maybe maybe I caught this one in time, but I'm worried that I haven't. I'm worried that I haven't caught it in time. It's a big boy. Okay, come and build these things. Waiting for deliveries? What's happening? Yeah, I'm waiting for deliveries. It is interesting. <laughs> I'm hoping this lie-by trick works. It's going to really help me out. Aha. Build it, build it. I'll even extend it some more. One, two. So that there's plenty of room. I hope this will work. I didn't quite understand that's the way it's done. Oof. Big Q with security. Plane is light, I think. Break the deadlock. Go. Okay, let's see. Have I missed a final approach? No, nothing was missed. It's good I sent the break the deadlock because this guy would have would have fl flown off. Anybody in here? Everybody's on there. Perfect. Everything's working. That's been built. Okay. I not have enough money to add an extra one. I'm going to try this. We'll have a, we'll we'll keep our eyes peeled for for the next garbage truck that comes in, but I think that should should sort us out. A little bit. I'm hoping they pull in there. I'm hoping I don't have to build this entire stretch to get them to operate there. The airport is looking good. It's not dirty. The janitors are doing their job. The people are putting the the, the garbage in the bins. So I'm happy with that. Ticketing is working well, security is working well, queuing is working well. These areas are a little bit small. I need to maybe expand that a bit. Uh, but all in all, not too bad, not too bad. Garbage, very interested in what's going to happen with the garbage. Okay, planes are starting to come in. Getting some money for that. Um, oh, yes, hang on. I wanted to check. Scheduling a flight between these two. So an extra morning flight between... Let's see, this, is there something in the afternoon similar? So we can maybe see about... 767, 707, 767, 767. Almost all 767s now. So the only one where I can actually test the theory of whether we can fit one more in there is... is the smaller planes is this one right here so I will add another morning flight and it'll go in the 9 a.m. slot 
Okay, so let's have a quick look at who we can put a smallish plane into the 9 a.m. slot. Morning, too big, too big, too big. Okay, who, who else do we have here? Oh, some other ones. Atlantic International, a night flight. The satisfaction, oh, they pay a bit more. Okay, so let's see, there has to be a, a smallish morning flight somewhere that I can accept. This is very small, 19 passengers. Uh, I don't want to accept something quite that small. This is the one, this, ooh. Oh, well, this is the one that I'm going to accept. I'm going to grab this one, the WestJet one. Let's get the WestJet, okay, and we'll immediately... Where is my WestJet flight? This is not a morning flight. Ah, oh, it is a morning flight. Okay, WestJet in the 9 a.m. slot. That's where it's going to go. I'm hoping that'll work. So if I look at status, I'm sure we're not going to get it till today. So it'll only come around tomorrow. So we'll keep going. The main thing I want to check is when the garbage truck comes. I believe it comes right around noon. I want to test this uh, and what I'll also do is I'll add it one more time just so that it's going to has the full stretch of the garbage area that it can use, make use of. And then it can stay parked there for like 24 hours to clean up all the garbage and hopefully in the future we'll, we'll sort it out a little bit quicker. But this should, should certainly, well, in reality it would solve the problem. We've got a lay-by. It just needs to use it now. So I'm interested to see if that'll work. That's got everyone. Pretty busy, but everything seems to be looking good. The first first uh, oh, the first class queue is a little bit on the um, on the long side and which slows slows the boarding down quite a lot. Uh, actually but yeah, we might have to add the extra desks. There, there, there it goes. Absolutely, look at that. Using the lay-by. Oh my goodness, look at this. I cannot believe it. Got the lay-by, but it's causing us a problem. So I'll add it there. I'll, add, I'll, I'll bring it forward a little bit so that it actually can do a bit of a drive in that area. But this is a nightmare. Can you believe it? Can you absolutely believe it? I'm not going to... I'm not going to even allow it to do to do this for much longer. Pick up a few more. That is still loading, but that's the end of it. He's gonna he's gonna have to leave. Okay, there you go. That's the end. Leave. Thank you. And I'll add some more extensions over here. It's working. Well, one. What's going on? Am I? Did I place that? Well, not quite sure. Oops, my bad. There we go. Okay, placed. Uh, did this... Oh, no, the morning flight will only come tomorrow. Wow, this one is probably full. 190, not full. But so our queues aren't quite uh, equipped to accommodate flights of more than 200 passengers. So I should be very careful in getting the real big, big planes to come in because it will be a struggle. Okay, so the operation is working well. What I'll do is, oh, we are going at max speed, but and it is, it seems like it'll work as long as we can get the driver to actually straighten out the vehicle and not overhang onto the, the other lane. But then in that, if that's the case, we should be fine. <clears throat> I'll eventually do the entire second section and probably do more lay-by, so I'll probably use a lot of this space for, for more lay-by and drop-off space and pick up area and garbage collection and deliveries, etc. <clears throat> I might move deliveries elsewhere. It was just kind of legacy placed it here so it's closest for the workers to be going in and out when things needed to get done very quickly. <clears throat> Apologies, guys. I think I might be having or getting a slight cold, so if I sound a bit funny or something like that, just bear with me. Okay, I think everything else is still going well. As long as the drop-offs and the pickups can occur, that's fine. Um, everything's doing well. Our money, the road is going to cost us a hell of a lot. So maybe if I look at the research, maybe I should look at bank loans so that we can 
expand our airport a little bit quicker instead of having this this very slow natural growth that we're doing at the moment. We are making a lot of money, so have it, taking out a loan shouldn't be a problem. Our balance, oh, what is going on? Oh, hang on, it's still locked. Our balance is, well, our income per day is around 47,000. So that should, should work well, even if we get a bank loan. Uh, we should actually just be able to increase the speed of what we do that quite quickly. Okay, guys, um, I'm Exact Chaos. This is some airport exactly. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, click the like button, please. Um, if you like the content, consider subscribing. I will do some more of this and some other games as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.